In this video, we're going to talk about the latest developments in artificial intelligence as it relates to hearing aids. There are very few categories that have been untouched by artificial intelligence innovation over the last three or four years. And if you go to technology conferences, AI is absolutely the buzzword of the moment. But most technologists say that this is actually a meaningful step change in technology and will transform a lot of the ways that we interact with our phones, our computers, and yes, our hearing aids. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how AI works inside of hearing aids today, some of the things that we might expect in the future, and some of the leading products on the market if it's really important to you to get the latest in AI technology. If we have not yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm a hearing aid wearer, and I'm also the co-founder at Soundly.com. It's one of the leading destinations for hearing aid research and shopping in the United States. If you like what you see in this video, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach more people. With that, let's dig in. All right, so to properly explain the world of artificial intelligence and how it relates to hearing aids, it's worth thinking about some of the different ways that AI is used throughout the category. And in my mind, there are really three main uses of AI. The first is the one that's been around the longest, and that is in the upfront training and engineering process. So brands like Starkey, Oticon, and Widex have been talking about artificial intelligence in their design process well before generative AI or chat GPT really became popular in public conversations. So the way they were basically doing this is they were integrating AI into their development process. So Oticon famously took a bunch of sound samples Samples. They ran it through a machine learning protocol, and then they used all of those sound samples to make their algorithms on board their hearing aids smarter and more intelligent. So you can think about this as an augmentation to the traditional R&D process, but the hearing aids themselves are not AI enabled. They're basically AI designed or AI R&D'd. That type of artificial intelligence design and engineering is present in most of the hearing aids that are on the market today. Certainly the market leaders, even down to budget products like Ella Hear Beyond, which we sell at soundly.com. If you read the materials about that product, they talk about how they're using AI to better design their product to manage background noise. Again, AI is being used as an assistant in the R&D process. So we'll often have folks ask us about various OTC products or prescription products and say, is this an AI hearing aid? The answer is most hearing aids have some AI influence in how they're built today. That's really become common over the last five or six years. So then you have a second category of artificial intelligence in hearing aids, and that is in how the user interacts with their programming or the changing of their devices. Specifically, WS Audiology has been a real front runner in this type of AI use. So for example, Signia has a feature inside of their app called the Signia Assistant, which you can simply chat with and change the programming inside of your hearing aids. Now, Signia hearing aids are still programmed primarily at a local clinic, but once you have them in hand, you can use this chat function, which is AI powered, to make adjustments to the sounds that you're hearing in real time. It's an AI take on a traditional hearing aid app. Widex has played with similar features. Starkey also experimented with this approach through their edge mode, which essentially would take a short sound clip of the environment that you are in, analyze that sound clip using artificial intelligence, and then change the program in your hearing aids. So this was sort of an in-between step between the R&D and design phase that we just talked about and where we're now headed, which is real-time AI artificial intelligence processing. So step one, Artificial intelligence is making the R&D process smarter and more robust. Step two, users are starting to get involved in their own programming with AI-powered experiences. But now in the last year, we've really stepped into a new phase of how artificial intelligence is being used inside of hearing aids. And that is through a dedicated second chip, which is actually processing artificial intelligence commands and processes and workflows all in real time. So at the time of this recording, there are only two products on the market that actually use real-time AI processing. That's the Phonak Sphere Infinio and the Resound Vivia. Both of them have been released within the last year. Now, both of these products are still using machine learning and artificial intelligence within the R&D process. But what they've ultimately done is they've brought AI into the real-time processing system. So if you wear Phonak or Resound hearing aids, essentially how it works is if you toggle into the AI mode, which is a dedicated mode 
between both of these hearing aids. It's not always on. But when you toggle into that mode, a second quite powerful chip within this hearing aid begins to process sound in real time. And its main goal is to separate speech sounds from background noise. So in the case of Resound, they gave this onboard chip around 13 million different samples of speech. So some people whispering, shouting, talking quietly, talking loudly, talking in different languages, and trained the AI to notice what is speech and what is sound. The AI then separates these out, tries to clean up the speech, and then passes that information on through the rest of the hearing aid system, which will amplify the sound and eventually send that information into your ears. So essentially you're getting an extra clean signal before the traditional hearing aid functions kick in. There are some technical differences in how Phonak and Resound are handling AI inside of their hearing aids, but they both basically go through this same process, filtering the sound, cleaning it up, and then passing it on down the line. Now we have in-depth reviews on both of these products, which we'll link below, but in practice, what this sounds like is an ultra clean signal of speech. So it's really quite dramatic in the case of both Resound and Phonak, where you really hear the background noise drop away. Now, if you watch both reviews, you'll notice that I don't actually prefer the AI sound to the traditional hearing aid sound at this stage in the development. Now, it is nice if I'm in a really tough situation or things are really loud, with the Resound Vivia, I wore it at a conference and I was trying to hear a speaker who was kind of far away from me and I had lots of background noise all around me. In that moment, it was nice to turn it into the speech focus AI powered mode. But in most cases, I like the more natural sound that the traditional hearing aid functions give me. So I'm not spending a ton of time in the AI features. The other current drawback to using the AI chip is that it drains the battery life a lot faster. That's especially true with the Phonak Sphere Infinio. So at the time of this recording, in mid 2025, would I say that artificial intelligence is transforming the listening experience through these devices? I would actually say that Resound and Phonak are on par with other industry leaders like Signia or Widex in terms of how well you can actually hear in various settings. But the breakthrough is noteworthy nonetheless, because there's no doubt in my mind that the AI processing capabilities in all hearing aids, probably across brands over the next few years, will get better and better and better at cleaning up speech, giving us that signal that we want, making it maybe a bit more natural over time, but ultimately helping us cut out background noise, which is always the biggest challenge for hearing aid wearers. You walk into a really noisy room, the noise sounds really loud, the speech sounds louder too, but you're trying to sort through it. AI can become a really important ally in that process. And I think we're going to see that happen over the next three or four years. Now that these two industry leaders have put an AI chip on board and are running real-time AI actions, I think we're going to see the rest of the industry move quickly in this direction. And as the whole category of artificial intelligence improves, not just within hearing health, I'm expecting to see some pretty big leaps over the next few years in terms of what's possible. So it's interesting to think about where all of this could go. Here are a few things that I get excited about and I think would be possible with advances in artificial intelligence. The first is something that it feels like we are right on the cusp of, and that is recording familiar voices and giving them a boost in your soundscape. For example, if I recorded the voice of my daughter, my wife, my close friends, the people that I spend time with, and then my hearing aids were able to give them a one or two decibel boost, that would be really interesting and could really support me in a restaurant or in tough background noise environments. AI is definitely able to recognize voices in other device settings, so on laptops and phones. And over time, I would imagine the power of an onboard chip could get to that point and that could be a really interesting breakthrough for hearing aid wearers. Another interesting opportunity to think about is how voice could fit into the overall hearing aid ecosystem. So today, if you wanna make a change, you either push a button or you open up your smartphone app and you start tapping buttons. Imagine that you could simply prompt your hearing aids to wake up and then you could tell them that you want a change. So you could simply say something like, I'm having trouble with speech in this environment. Can you help? Turn the background noise. This is a little uncomfortable. Things like that that you could do in natural language and you could imagine how this would become really useful for a lot of folks who are wearing hearing aids and don't wanna pull out their phone or make these adjustments on the fly. I would also imagine that hearing aids will get more intelligent as they predict where we'll be throughout our day. So if you're like me, your iPhone or your Android device might already send you a push notification that says something like, you're 20 minutes away from work just a few minutes before you leave for work. That's because your phone is tracking and understands your patterns 
and is able to optimize for the part of the day that you're actually in. Similarly, hearing aids could adjust slightly the program and the prioritization based on the environments and context that you're in during certain parts of your day. Finally, I imagine that we'll see a lot of brands begin to experiment with more novel features. So imagine transcription of important meetings. You already have a microphone on board, you could grab that audio and turn it into text that could be available for later review. Starkey has actually played with a couple of these features and they even launched an experimental translation service, which would listen to the outside world and then translate the speech into your natural language. I don't think it ever worked very well, but in concept, that type of feature should be totally possible within a new AI enabled landscape. Now, questions of privacy and security will also be really important topics to discuss as our hearing aids get smarter and smarter, and especially as we add more novel features like recording outside world sounds and turning it into different types of content. Okay, so we've covered a lot, including some of the things that could be really exciting in the future, three, four, five years down the line. But if today you are researching hearing aids, you're thinking about getting your first pair or maybe you're upgrading from an old pair, how should you think about AI in the overall hearing aid landscape? The simple answer is right now, we're still in the experimental phase. The AI modes inside of leading products are good and interesting and sometimes useful, but they're not transformative to the overall experience. I would imagine that could change over the next handful of years, but today you can really look across the whole landscape, including over-the-counter products, prescription products, and multiple brands, and get really good quality sound that's somewhat on par across care models and price points. Remember that almost all leading hearing aids on the market are using AI in some form, in their algorithm development, in the design and the R&D, the whole system of making the hearing aids good at what they do every day. What will be fascinating to watch are the next generations of products as they continue to roll out. And it will be interesting to see if a brand can really nail an all day AI powered mode that consumers consistently want to spend their days in. We're probably not there yet, but my assumption is that within five years, we'll certainly have multiple products on the market that are using AI all of the time. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about hearing aids, hearing health, anything else on your mind, you can head over to soundly.com, talk to our team. You can also drop comments below. We'd be happy to answer and discuss with you anything that's on your mind. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us and good luck with your research.